Hello everyone, I'm John Antaramian. I'm the mayor of the city of Kenosha, and I'm reading this book about Dream Street, and I hope that everyone enjoys reading as much as I do. So please enjoy the book. Welcome to Dream Street, the best street in the world. Just ask the people who live here. The houses and dreams inside are different as thumbprints. The sidewalks are wide enough for huge chalk drawings, giant hopscotch boards, Children from all over the neighborhood can play until the street lights go on. Yusuf waits for his brother, Biko, as the corner of Humboldt Avenue and Dream Street. He thinks about how their mom always says, don't leave the house without your crown. She likes to tell them stories about their ancestry and where kings and queens with dreams they never give up on. Each morning, unless it rains, Mr. Sidney reads with this newspaper on the stoop, dressed, in the, dressed to the nines. Miss Sarah likes to say, what's the nines? A child will ask, and Miss Sarah will answer, fancy, fancy. Mr. Sidney is a retired mail carrier, living his dream of never having to wear a uniform again. He tips his bring bound, big brown fedora and greets everyone with, don't wait to have a great day, create one. Now, in case everyone doesn't know what a fedora is, a fedora is a hat. Belle catches butterflies in a jar. When they fly near, Miss Sarah birth, bird bath, but she always lets them go before too long. Everything has a right to be free, she says, and every butterfly is different, just like snowflakes and the people of dreams. Bella wants to become a scientist and study butterflies. Azara house is next to the park. That girl really can jump. She jumps rope. She can do double dutch on one leg at a time. She can turn around and touch the ground. She can jump up by herself with two ropes. She can even dance, jump, and dream of winning a shiny trophy one day, all at the same time. When she flies down the street, swinging her rope, she lifts her long brown legs as high as the sun. Miss Sarah is also known as the Hat Lady, is Bella's great auntie. Her voice is only a whisper, but there are stories between the lines of her face that she shares when you come close. She has lived on Dream Street longer than anyone, even longer than some of the trees, watching children turn into grown-ups and listening to their dreams along the way. Eddie lives on top of the hill and searches for treasures that others throw away. She collects smooth rocks, broken jewelry, leaves, and feathers, and adds them to her drawings of people on Dream Street. Meanwhile, her cousin Tari pays attention when new folks come around so she can make up stories about them. In her notebook, she scribbles down the things she hears. When they don't know she's listening, the cousins dream that someday they'll create a picture book together about everyone who has ever known and lived on Dream Street. The garden behind Dessa Ray's house overflows with plants. You don't see every day purple lilies, red deserted peas, yellow passion flowers. Her magnolia tree smells like milk and honey and makes your eyes feel heavy as they want to close. Dessa Ray locks are as long as she can wrap them around her shoulders like a shawl. Sometimes she and her grandbaby, Little Song, fall asleep together. Little Song makes sweet sounds and dreams, little girl dreams. When she, had, when she was small, Miss Paula loved to twirl on her tiptoes up and down Dream Street. Now she teaches African dance at the rec center. Her head wrapped around and round with bright fabric until it's high like a pyramid. Her feet move lightning fast, slap, slap, slapping the tapping and tapping on the floor, keeping pace with the drummer's hands. Watch out, you might get dizzy if you stare too long. Sometimes when the rhythm takes hold, her wrap unravels and falls to the ground. She never stops moving, even as she stoops to pick it up. Little Benjamin, who lives in the purple house next to the park, is tucked snugly in bed, but he doesn't want to go to sleep and, dr and dream. He might miss something important. He hugs his teddy bear, 
Tyler, who isn't ready for sleep either. Instead, they count the stars and sparkle through the bedroom windows and listen to laughter outside with the big kids who don't have to go to bed yet. The children who live and play on Dream Street can become whatever and whoever they want because their dreams are nourished and cared for. Just like Desiree's flowers, there is no need to worry or to rush. They take their time growing and playing, learning and living, soaring skyward towards all the adventures that await them. The cousins Eddie and Tari are in the book, Are Us, Ekra and Tari. The story is based on real lives and dreams. So I hope everyone enjoyed the story and remember that reading is a wonderful way to enjoy life.